Hi everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you are new. So today I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in for the first week of September. So today we're going to be checking in from Sunday the 1st through Friday the 6th. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I did have a restaurant spending for Cold Stone for my parents and I. And that was a total of $14.00. That is coming out of my restaurant's cash envelope. Moving on, I do have a groceries Costco transaction and that was $12 for Costco. And then I also did gas, got gas per usual. Usually when I go to Costco, I also get gas mainly the reason why I did go to Costco was to get gas and then I just went inside to grab some strawberries so my gas did cost um, $57 and then I did go to Target and I did use my spending cash envelope and I did spend $30 there on the second, I did go to Ross because I really needed some shoes for work. So I did get some flats at Ross and that did cost me $22. That is coming out of my clothing sinking fund. And then I did get in and out for my parents and I, and that is coming out of my restaurant's cash envelope. And that did cost $24. Moving on, I also did go to the grocery store, La Superior, and I did spend $15 there just because I needed like two things. So that's why it was $15 coming out of groceries. And then on the third, I did have an Amazon expense. It's coming out of my sinking fund, my personal spending sinking fund. I did have to grab some like no-show socks for like flats. So I really needed that. So I did spend $11 from there or for that. And then I did go to Costco and I spent $20 for a planner, so that's coming out of school, and then $15 for toiletries, so a total of $35 that I did spend from my um, sinking funds at Target. So I just combined those two transactions together, and I just did one sticker for that. And then I did get some McDonald's for my boyfriend and I. We just wanted, like, dessert, so he got a sundae, and then I got myself a um, pineapple mango pineapple smoothie and that's coming out of my dates cash envelope so that was ten dollars for that transaction and then on Wednesday the 4th I did have to purchase my textbook and like the online course for my class or online program for my class so that was $55 on Wiley coming out of my school sinking fund and then on the fifth I did get Taco Bell with my boyfriend so that's coming out of dates since it was for both of our both of us and that was a total of $17 for us to have dinner that day and then the next day I also had Taco Bell for lunch I did take lunch but my coworker <laughs> wanted Taco Bell and I couldn't say no so then we got Taco Bell and that was seven dollars that is coming out of my restaurant's cash envelope so I hope you guys are proud there is no red transactions and hopefully I am not negative in any of the categories um, I didn't have any no spend days, but at least there's progress. I spent every single day, and if you guys noticed, like this was the day that I had the most transactions, then it was three, three, one, one, one. So 
it got better throughout the week um, but I'm glad that this is the first week in a while that there is no red stickers that is progress that is great great progress and I'm so happy that I'm getting my spending um, under control so I do have my weekly check-in spread that I did create myself um, just with some markers and I did add 50 for dates, gas 100, groceries 120, restaurants 50, spending 30, and then I budgeted is just a placeholder. So let's go ahead and check in. So for dates, I do have 10 for McDonald's and then 17 for Taco Bell. So that is a total of 27 that I did spend here. So since I did have 50, that gives me a remaining of $23. And then for gas, I did get gas once. And that was Costco for 57. So 57 spent. And that will give me $43 remaining for gas. Moving on to groceries, we do have Costco for 12 and then La Superior for 15, so that is 27. So I spent 27 and that will give me 73 remaining. Now for restaurants, I do have some transactions. So we have Cold Stone for 14. Then in and out for 24, so that is 38, and then plus 7 here, that is 45. So $45 spent on restaurants, so then that gives me $5 remaining since I did start with 50. And then spending, I did spend all $50, I mean, sorry, $30 at Target on the first. So I spent 30 and now I have zero. And I'm so glad that it was literally 29 and some change. So I rounded it up to 30 and thankfully it's not negative. So I'm happy about that. I'm hoping that I maintain myself under control for this upcoming week, for the second week from the 7th, 7th through the 13th. Hopefully I, you know, don't spend too much because I need to keep in mind these numbers that I have remaining. So everything should be checked off except for my sinking funds right here. So that is great. I am going to move my planner to the side. I'm going to bring out some change on my wallet and we're going to go ahead and unstuff it. So here I have some change, which is $100 in change. Here's my wallet. We're going to go ahead and unstuff since I am a credit card user. Um, I use credit cards for reward purposes. So I am going to leave an American Express credit card link um, that you can sign up using my my link if you would like a credit card it is it is zero percent interest for 15 months but i only recommend it if you are responsible i really recommend it if you have like a big purchase like let's say i don't know you need some furniture so you're gonna buy that furniture have zero percent interest but you know pay that within the 15 months or if you are responsible with your money like using cash if you're responsible um, then I would recommend it um, for reward purposes. So I'm going to leave that link down below. I'm also going to scan my receipts into Fetch. Fetch is an app that you can download to your phone. You can scan receipts. They give you points for your receipts and the points you can go ahead and redeem for gift cards. So I am going to be leaving the link down below in the description box and I'm going to also leave the code on the screen. So here I have my wallets that are, are for sale on Instagram. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, I have different colors available that will be on my Instagram. Link is going to be down below. So first off, we're going to unstuff dates. So we have $50 here and I did spend 27. So I'm going to take three $1 bills back, which makes it 30. And then with 20, it makes it 50. So we have $23 remaining in dates. Moving on to gas, we are unstuffing 57, so we're going to take a 50 and a 10. And we're going to bring $3 back. So we have 20, 40, 1, 2, and 3. 
$43 remaining, which should be enough for this upcoming week. Moving on to groceries, we're taking out $40 because we are unstuffing $27. So I'm going to bring back $3 and then a $10 bill. And this should be $73.20, $40.60. Oh, I think I did my math wrong. Yeah. So it is 93, actually, not 73. It is 93 because we started with 120. I was calculating that I started with 100. So we should have 93, 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 2, and 3. Okay, so we're all set here. Restaurants. We started with 50, we spent 45, so we have 50 here. And since I spent 45, I'm gonna bring back a five. I'd rather take this five. And then for spending, we are taking all $30. So that is it for my wallet, and here I have 30. So put that there. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to bring out my calculator so we can calculate how much I unstuffed. So $27 for dates, $57 for gas, $27 for groceries, $45 for restaurants, and $30 for spending. So that is $186 that I did spend. So I am going to take out $100. One, two, three, four, five, ninety, one hundred. And this money here should be 186. So 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, and 86, which is perfect. Now I do have some sinking funds that I do also need to unstuff so I can pay off my credit card. So let's go ahead and move on to this. So we do have $100 more in change just in case I do need it, which I believe I will since... I did condense my envelopes so let's see first off for out of oh, not adventures we're going to clothing I for some reason thought I was stuffing instead of unstuffing so we're going to clothing and we are unstuffing 22 so I do have 25 so Clothing now has three dollars remaining. So let me mark this one off. And then that is actually it for the white binder. But I'll bring this one out now. Okay. Moving on, we are going to believe personal spending is the first one. Yeah, and we are unstuffing $16. So the one and the five, oh no, that's the opposite. <laughs> we're going to actually keep the five and we're going to leave the 10 and the one. So I'll put that here. So let me mark that one off. Moving on to school, I will actually not have this money all here. So for school, I have 55 and 20, which is 75, and I only have 15. Um, so that means that I do owe $60. That is actually going to be transferred for my um, school sinking fund and my high yield savings in Capital One. I'm going to transfer $60 to my checkings so I can go ahead and pay off that credit card. But we are going to mark it off because I will make sure to do that. And then last but not least, we're going to unstuff toiletries. And I am unstuffing $20. So 10 and 
let's do 20. So we now have $23 remaining in toiletries. So I actually didn't need all this change. I needed the ones, but I didn't really need the other ones, but I wasn't sure what I was going to need, so it is what it is. So we have 60, 70, 80, 90. I'm gonna leave this 20 here, actually. So we have 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's see how much I unstuff so we can count. We have 22, 11. For school, we only unstuffed 15, and then 15 for toiletries. So 63 is what I should have. So 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That is way more than 63. It is possible that I didn't take this out right. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. No, nope, that's right. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Yep, that's right. Um, let me double check this. So we have 22, 11, and then for school, we only took out 15. And then 15 for toiletries. 63, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, four, five. It is possible that I just started with my cash tray with 105 instead of 100. Maybe I counted wrong and I started with the wrong amount at the beginning. Um, yeah, that's probably what I did. Um, I will review the video and if nothing looks wrong, then that means that I just um, started with more money, th more money than I thought. I'll see when I edit and then I'll, if I find anything, I'll just leave it on the screen for you guys. But I am going back to the calendar and I'm going to go ahead and mark off all of the transactions. And like I said, for my school sinking fund, I will make sure to um, transfer that money so I can go ahead and pay off my credit card. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!